Do you feel like your life is too hectic and chaotic? Well, fix it. Before I move on, I want to quickly note that yes, there are unexpected circumstances, things out of your control, and the entire basket of things that can make what I just said seem impossible or difficult, and that exists for everybody. I want that out of the way first. I admit that you cannot always control your circumstances and situations. That out of the way, you usually can. If you feel like your life is going out of control, you're constantly on the move, you're constantly doing this, that, and the other with no greater sense of when or how, or you feel lost, that's what I'm getting to here. You feel lost and adrift around events. There are all kinds of articles I've seen, opinion pieces, health articles about is your life too chaotic, are you too busy, do you not have plans, blah, 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 and it really all boils down to a very simple and fortunately enough, easy to fix problem which is a lack of organization. When people are sitting there saying, I don't know how to fit all of this stuff in my schedule, there's two things. One, they actually have literally overbooked themselves and cannot fit it. But the more likely outcome is that they have not actually created a good plan and thus don't know where to fit it. And everybody does this to a point where we, you know, plan out things vaguely, perhaps, or we don't solidify things, or we don't consider the time of what we're doing, and to a point, everyone does it, and it just, it works. But when you have let it build up to the point that you don't know when you're doing anything, or you don't have any idea of a sense of plan for what you do anymore, well, this isn't just confusing and chaotic in one respect, it affects all of your life and it a whole lot of different ways. That lack of order there is going to affect your job performance, perhaps your relationships, all of it, because, well, how can you be dependable if you don't know what you yourself are doing the next day, much less the next week? It becomes impossible to plan in the future when you have not already laid a foundation to plan from. And in a way, that can almost seem like a self-fulfilling trap there where you don't have a plan so you can't plan more so you never have a plan. But you can walk away from that. You can actually start with the simple things. What do I have to do? Just categorize it. Figure out these are the things I must do, these are the things I would like to do, and these are the things that could happen. Plan for some contingencies in there and then actually play some Tetris, if you will, with your schedule. Slide this in here, leave yourself some time there. This can fit in here, but I should move that to tomorrow. And then as you do it one day at a time, it becomes a week at a time eventually because you have suddenly laid that foundation. And then you can plan from there, chopping out events you may not need to do. Because there's another part to this, which is simplification. Once you have that list of things you do, look at them. You actually have a list now. Check out what you've been doing, why you do it. Does this actually do anything for you? Are you wasting money here when you could go there? Trim, change, adjust a little bit. Roll with this. And while you're at it, organize a few other things. Maybe you let your house get a little messy in all of your chaos because you haven't had the time. Well, now that you've got a schedule, give yourself a little time for it. Build up from that foundational point of having a bit of order in your life and you can find you might find that you'll change a lot of things in your life because you have a foundation you know what you're doing and you know what you're doing not just tomorrow but a week in advance for the most part again to reiterate my little beginning point everybody must deal with events you cannot plan for suddenly something happens a car accident your work explodes who knows it doesn't even matter the point is be prepared as best you can, plan accordingly to the events you are aware of, leave yourself some extra time, if at all possible, and roll with what happens. Take a deep breath, set your schedule, try to stick to it. Understand though that life and human events may and very well often do interfere with what you're going to do and roll with it. You'll make it happen as best you can. You cannot stop what is already occurring. If it was something sudden and unplanned, well, that's life. So, if I were to leave you with anything here, it would just be organize, categorize, simplify, and execute. Four steps. Take them. Run with them. They'll do you a lot of good. Just something to think about.